All right, darlings, let's get into our straddle back today with the assist of our Liras. My name is Ashley from the Moxie Movement and let's get right into it. So when we take it to our straddle back, it's important that we find our sacrum. We wanna make sure we avoid our tailbone and we avoid getting too high up into that spine at all because we don't wanna get between the vertebrae. What's gonna happen here is when we find that triangle at the bottom, that's gonna be where our body fuses. We can start to follow that triangle around towards our hip bones. If you give yourself a little squeeze under, you'll start to find where your sits bones are. Sits bones up are gonna be your friend for that tracing. From here, I'm gonna let myself lean back, holding onto the sides of the hoop, taking up space. I'll let myself lift up one leg, push that tushy out just a little bit. We'll go right over that little butt bone, just a little bit. We can get a lift here. Now, when I get the other side, I'll take the foot over, starting to pick up my second foot to slightly peel it out. Once I've peeled out, I'll start to open up. If we find that we're still all on that tailbone, give it an extra shimmy, extra shimmy, down. From there, we're pulling our feet into that hoop. The more you pull those calves and feet into the hoop, the easier it's gonna be to get that hold. If you stop pushing, you might slip through. As you feel comfortable here, we can keep taking the hands lower, legs lower, making sure to keep that shelf pushed over. It's important that we don't tuck our hips. If we tuck our hips, we're gonna slip out of that hoop. So push that tushy over, think heavy on the booty. Whenever we come up out of these, we wanna make sure we don't grind anything as well. First way up is to find the little buttercup, scooch one side of that tush in, leg goes long, back down, or taking it out through your jade splits. Again, I check a little cheek out, check that second side out, taking it wide. Then from there, I can take both hands over to one side of my hoop, bend that knee to help crawl it up. From there, I can straighten that leg again, using it as a lever to help me sit back up. One more time through, just to watch where those hips are going. We get that little shuffle out, making sure that we lean back. We must lean back. Then we lift a leg, thinking opposite foot to opposite hand. Give it a little kick, pull that tushy out, transfer over. Little bit more, pull that tushy out, transfer it over. Push the bum down, making sure we find it all the way to that shelf. You can even squeeze those cheeks into that shelf to help make it a little extra secure. Both hands to one side. Here, you can start to let your bum slip out just a little bit. Bend the knee to help crawl up, and then use it as a lever to finish. So what is so important about us actually finding that sacrum, that shelf, is because especially if we don't have a lot of flexibility, these moves are still obtainable. We're just gonna want ourselves to get a little check through, take it over, check through, take it over. I'm really pushing those feet into the bar, pushing my tushy, not up, but down. Trying to take that pelvis, push it down. Feet are pulling into that bar to go for a hold. When those feet come a little bit wider, we can keep that hold, working on that little wiggle down as we feel comfortable. Again, we don't need a lot of flexibility for these balances. We can keep it in a cutesy little buttercup. When we come up, especially if our legs are close together or we don't want to go through a side, we want to sneak one side of that cheek back in by dropping a leg. Drop the other leg too to help that tushy sink back in. Over, back towards that set. Thank you again for looking into some of these safety tips. Here at Moxie, we really, really would like for everyone to learn these moves and these skills, but as safely as possible. Please know that if you ever even feel lightly unsure of what you're doing, there are trained professionals everywhere who would love to help you with your aerial journey. Have a wonderful day and see you next Wednesday.